Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Before I even start today's vlog, I just have to say thank you so much for all of the love and support being sent our way right now about our pregnancy. We are just blown away, honestly, by the support. You guys are seriously amazing, and it's so fun to see you guys so excited for us and our growing family. I can't believe we're gonna have a fourth baby. It's just, it's so overwhelming in the best way and you guys have been so supportive from day one and most of you guys have been here since Shay was in my belly and it's just been so fun to document our lives and share it with you guys because you guys are seriously the freaking best and I can't say it enough how grateful we are for you guys and can't wait to document this pregnancy and share it with you guys as well. So yeah we're pregnant and I am I haven't even looked on my app you guys to see how far along I am in like a few days but very very fresh in my pregnancy let's see oh that's my wrong app um, I'm on pregnancy plus and I am four weeks in four days so very very new I'm not having any symptoms really at all. I am breaking out on my cheeks and my jawline and my back, which is a telltale sign every single time I'm pregnant and in my first trimester and in my second trimester, it gets really bad too and it clears up in the third trimester for me usually every time. But that is the first symptom that I have experienced so far, no nausea, no tiredness, but I know that's coming soon. That usually starts kicking in full force around week six. So I have a little over a week to go before I start feeling those symptoms, I'm sure. Um, you guys have so many questions and I tried to answer a lot of them on Instagram the other day on stories and I did answer quite a few of them. A lot of them were questions about this pregnancy so um, I saved those to a highlight on my Instagram feed. So if you guys want to refer back to that, you guys can go to my Instagram and check out that highlight and chances are I answered a question. But yeah, we are so excited you guys and I'm just over the moon to be able to share it with all of you because seeing how excited you guys are just makes it so much more special so i'm about to take my prenatal vitamin and wanted to show you guys the one that i'm taking this time so it's called mama bird and i got it on amazon i am on a monthly subscription service with them so they'll send it to me every month so i don't have to worry about running out so i'm gonna take this and then i really need to go to the grocery store we are so low on like everything so i'm gonna head out it's a rainy gloomy day right now so we're not gonna be doing much but i definitely need to stock the fridge and the pantry on groceries i'm about to head out to target right now but i wanted to show you guys my new crossbody bag because i'm obsessed with it it's so cute um so i got it monogrammed a lot of you guys thought it was my merch because it has th on it but you can monogram it if you want or just leave it plain. It comes in a few colors, but it holds a lot of stuff. I was really surprised. So I have my wallet, a diaper in there. Um, we really don't leave the house very much, so I don't really need like a diaper bag or a big purse. I just keep like my wallet, my phone, my camera, and like diapers and wipes. So it holds a ton of stuff, but it's super cute. And yeah, I'll link it below. How cute is my mask too? This came in a pack of three different colored leopards and this one's like a cream one. So I wear this one today into Target. <laughs> okay, this is so cute. I just put it on for the first time and it's really breathable too. So I don't remember where I got these from. They might be from Etsy or they might be from like one of those sponsored ads on stories on Instagram. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it from. So I don't remember exactly where this is from, but it's really cute. I love it. because they were Shay's like favorite but I noticed that she got like super hyper on them every time I would give them to her as a snack so I'm trying to stop buying them even though they're like her favorite thing ever do you notice that with any of your kids when you give them something they're just like super hyper that's Shay so 
Do you like this though? Raisin bran? I eat that in the mornings a lot. I'm trying to plan ahead too because I know I'm gonna be really nauseous soon. So <laughs> I'm gonna try and just buy a lot of carbs and stuff. Like the everything bagel, I'll probably be able to stomach those. This is Grayson's favorite thing at the moment. These Annie mac and cheeses. The blue one's his favorite. They're actually really good. Like I'll eat these too. Let me get a few of those. Okay, I just got back home. I'm gonna do a quick grocery haul. So we really needed some more coffee mate and this is my favorite coffee creamer. It's the coconut cream. It's really good. And then I also got the caramel latte flavor. I got some better cereal options for the girls, so we'll see how they like those. I'm not sure if they're gonna like them or not, but I got the best kinds that I could find at Target that weren't like full of sugar. I got some more of this Pirate's Booty. The girls love that. And then veggie straws. Grayson loves those. He loves snacking on those. And then I, I mainly got these for myself. And then some more corn dogs for them, hot dogs, goldfish. I showed you guys these in the store. I like this for breakfast. Some bagels, lettuce, a bunch of different produce. And then over here I have some lunch meat and some cheese, some string cheese, some snack bars for Grayson. He's never had these before, but I got these to see if he liked them. And then he loves these creamies. I got two different flavors for him. And then I also got these for myself in the mornings. I'm like the worst with breakfast, so it has to be like quick and easy for me to grab or else I just won't eat anything until like lunchtime. So I got those and then stocked up on more Perfect Bars. I also got these because I have a feeling I'm gonna start getting nauseous very soon. And mashed potatoes are always great for nausea. So I got two packs of those. I also got some bars for the girls these for myself i literally stock my nightstand with these i put these in my purse i put them in my center console i just love having these on hand especially in the first trimester because saltine crackers just don't do it for me so i like having um fig newtons and these ones are really good they also have them at costco too in like a big variety pack and then we got some more um graham crackers Shay loves those right now got some more mac and cheese and then i'm gonna try these See if the girls like them. I don't know. I highly doubt they won't, but that is everything that I got. I also picked up a pack of the Clear Blue Digital Pregnancy Test while I was out at Target today. I have not yet taken one of these that actually says like pregnant or not pregnant. So I usually just stick to the first response line ones and then I'll just obsessively take them to make sure that the line's getting darker, but I don't have any more first response tests. So I just picked these up. So I'm gonna take this with you guys on camera right now. Okay, Adam wants in on it this time. Yeah. <laughs> We're taking a digital one where it like tells it's you if you're, no, if you're pregnant or not pregnant. I've never taken these ones before. Clear blue? Are they yeah. Like, really good or what? They're pretty good, but I don't like the blue dye. That's why I always get first response, the pink ones. The pink blue one. dye? Yeah, so usually this brand doesn't have pink dye. It has blue dye and it's either a cross or no cross I don't know it's confusing so I usually just stick with first response Go do your thing, but babe. this one is digital so that's exciting it's a big day today folks taking the 30th pregnancy test of the of the day of the week what? nothing babe just keep peeing I'm talking to the vlog you know I'm the one they like to see you're just kind of nice to be around every once in a while. Ooh, it is a smart countdown. That's exciting. Oh, I'm worried about pee. I don't know why. Dip it in. Five do, I, do I pull it out? Yes. No, you put it on with the gap. How far in? Oh, this stinks like coffee. It's good. It doesn't. Okay, that's good. Oh, it does smell. Okay, babe. It's all right. <laughs> Oh. Hurry. Okay, it's thinking. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Has a five second timer, it said. Five no. seconds? No, it didn't. Probably five minutes. It said timer. 
five days sooner. Oh, I thought it said something about a time. So, I don't even think I've missed my period yet. <laughs> Are you supposed to miss your period? Uh, let's see what the date is. Yeah, yeah, this is I, yeah I probably start either today or yesterday. I was trying to find the ones that are able to tell you how many weeks you are, and I could not find those in store. I don't even know if they make those anymore. Oh, but... it's coming. Oh, wait, there's two dots now. <laughs> I think there's four. Where did I see that it said there's a timer or something? These things are just crazy. I'm pretty sure this should tell me if I'm... Well, this says the third dot. What's that mean? The third one means that it's that's when it is? I don't know, babe. There's two and then the blinky third one. So once the third <laughs> blinky starts, I think that's when it tells you. Number of days. Number of days before the expected period. Oh, so if, it should be right around now then. Mm-hmm. It says you but can this test five up to days four days, four days sooner than your missed period. Oh, yeah. there's the third oh, one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm scared. It's like taking a test. Except for it's a pass or fail. There ain't no... Pass or fail. There ain't no middle ground on this test. You either get an A or an F. Scared? A little bit. This thing takes forever. I don't have any symptoms yet, but it's just so early, so. Oh, you got symptoms. Trust me, I know them. What? Yeah. What are they? Super moody. No, I'm not. And last night, she wanted me to rub her whole back <laughs> with CBD oil. Oh, she's pregnant. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that. You are for sure pregnant. pregnant. Yep. Yeah, you got Doesn't get more pregnant than that. Yeah, it gets, that's, that's as bad as... Pregnant as she comes. <laughs> there's not no, there's not a maybe. No. There's not a ten percent. There's a pregnant. Yeah, because they test your HCG in your urine. Yeah, uh, oh yeah, there's a urine on this. That's gross. I'll put that down. <laughs> there you go, guys. I know a lot of you were like, oh my gosh, I only see one line. That's because I tested super I early. I explained why. Super early. You only see one line. I know, but I'm surprised a lot of people don't do that. <laughs> I definitely do. So there you go. I think I hear Grayson starting to wake up. Hello. Good morning. How is your nap? <laughs> How is your nap? You ready to get up? <laughs> Did you sleep good? What's in your hand? Brush? Can you walk to mama? You cheater. Here, you want your truck? Come here. Come get it. Come here. Come get it. Come here. <laughs> no interest. Come on. Oh. oh. What'd you do that for? I get a lot of requests to share more of what I feed Grayson. So this is what he's having for lunch. Some mushed up, well they're not mushed up, but I just like squeeze them so that they're not like full blueberries. Um, they're just smushed, I guess, is what the right word I was looking for. And then um, I gave him some of these and then I just cut them up into little bite-sized pieces for him to grab. And then I did the same thing with a string cheese and then some goldfish, and Chloe wants her fair share. <laughs> You'll get some, don't worry. And then this is his water. So that's what he's having for lunch today. You ready to eat? Oh! Oh! Oops, almost spilled. Oh! Oh! Thank you. Thank you. How is it? Is it good? String cheese and blueberries are one of his favorite things. <laughs> you guys have crazy hair. We need to give you a haircut.
need someone to save me no. And don't come running to blame me From miles away I can tell that something's off The way you're looking The girls are done with swim and now they're outside in the backyard playing with these things. I got them new ones from Amazon because they're like less than I think they're like 30 bucks so the ones that I originally got them, they destroyed <laughs> because it's like a cheap little toy, but it lasts for like a couple weeks. So I got them a new one because they loved it. So they'll probably be out here for the rest of the evening. But I wanted to give you guys an update on ISR because they are both doing so well as you guys saw in those last two clips. Like their progress and their growth with this has just been unreal. I'm so proud of them. Grayson is doing really well too. And in a couple weeks, they're gonna be jumping in fully clothed in like winter gear. So I'm just really excited to see their progress at the end of this. We're not even a month in and they have made like huge strides. So they're doing really, really well. Are you guys liking swim? Yes. Yeah. I love swim. <laughs> Look at the camera, what? <laughs> We're about to head out right now to go to um, Chick-fil-A for dinner. Um, shoot, I only grabbed one bag. I thought I grabbed two. I'm about to clean out the car right now while I wait for the girls and Adam. He's getting them dressed so we can go get some dinner. Um, but some kid in our neighborhood has a car detailing service and he comes to your house and details your car. So um, we have an appointment, I think it's tomorrow. So I'm gonna take out all the trash. Our car is disgusting right now. So I'm trying to clean it out so it's not a huge mess for him. But it's just like snacks and tons of random stuff. Oh, Mama. We still have the board in here for <laughs> when I surprise Adam with the pregnancy. I don't know what we're gonna do with that. Grayson, we got all this trash back here. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> wow, Shay. And look at me, I got princess. Shay has a full on ball gown. Princess. You look like a princess. Go get your seat, honey. And look at my princess shirt. Shay, you I'm look like a princess. Look I'm at your dress. Princess dress. Just like Bailey now. Let me see. Turn around. <gasps> wow. All dressed up for Chick fil A. Yep. Okay. Cool. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh. I really can't, babe. I we, of course, <laughs> had to drive by the lot on our way to Chick fil A. I don't think we showed you guys this, but they're doing dirt work. Bailey, what are you most excited about for the new house? Um, the bedroom because we are going to have bunk beds. <laughs> are you excited to share a room with Shay? Yeah. Are we going to have bunk beds? Uh, maybe. We'll see if I can find one that you guys like. Adam? How many should we to add in? Uh, can I get the spicy deluxe meal? Okay. Or two of them, sorry. Yes, sir. And a diet lemonade. And then a diet lemonade. A chocolate chip cookie. With uh, water. And then um, chocolate chip cookie. Okay. And then two kids chicken nuggets. Uh, two kids chicken nuggets. Uh, six. Six kids? Yeah, for kids. Yeah. With apple juice, please. With apple juice, please. You gotta eat your dinner first. <laughs> You have to eat your dinner first. Do you want sauce or no sauce? I think that's for Bailey. Do you want sauce or no sauce? Flip it over, quick, don't open it. Yeah, good job. Nailed it. Oh, bit bro, it's spilled out. Okay, we're back home now from Chick-fil-A. I'm prepping 
Grayson's bottle. I'm about to go give him a bath. I talked about this on stories, but I got Grayson some new like sippy cup bottles to transition him out of the Dr. Brown bottle, but he did not like it at all. I think the nipple on this one is too hard for him and he did not like it at all. So we are back to using the Dr. Brown bottle. A lot of you guys said just keep trying it. And a lot of you guys actually reminded me that this is the same bottle I transitioned Shay from the bottle to. So I totally forgot. I have the worst memory, but so far. You only need this thing. No. You don't need the blue thing. I know, but I'm just letting you know. I just I just feel like it's not as good. An oiler. Are you an oiler, babe? What time is it, Bailey? Dad? Boy bath. And we were going to have a guy. Jay, what are you doing? Jay, you know what time it is? What? It's time for bath. Hey, I'm going to play with this. Okay. Let's go take a bath, okay? No, I want to play with it. <laughs> wow, you guys should do the dish tomorrow. Also. Let's go take a bath. Let's go, monkeys. Monkey, monkey, come on. All right, guys. Well, Wheeler, you gonna put these little monkeys to bed? Give them a little, little bath. A little bath, and then I had to write a five-page essay. Whoa! I had to write a five-page essay for um, something. I don't even know what it is something school related so I just got Grayson out of the bath he's crawling around his room right now but I wanted to show you guys what I use on him before sleep in our little like bedtime routine for him lately so I use the seedlings calm linen spray and I'll spray this in his crib on his crib sheet his blanket and his little alligator lovey that he sleeps with and then I also use the seedlings lotion so I'll apply this on his face and his body and then I also apply his sleep roller on the bottom of his feet every single night. This is a miracle worker. I shared how I made this on my wellness account. So if you're needing help with your little one's sleep, that's an awesome roller to apply. Um, I think his immunity roller is downstairs, but I also apply that on the bottom of his feet. And then I'm also giving him some of these Camellia teething drops. I use these with Shay and I cannot swear by them enough they're they work really well so they're a homeopathic like teething relief option so they come in these little like vials let's see if they have one already open yeah I hear there so they look like this and I'll just open them and then I give him one of these it's like a liquid and then um, the Wellaments to the oil is downstairs. We used that earlier today, but I also use that occasionally, but since it's downstairs, I'm just going to do one of these. And then I have his Kid Sense Sleepy Eyes oil in his diffuser. My camera is like the worst with focusing. There we go. I use this in all of the kids' rooms. I do like four or five drops in the girls' rooms and then like two to three in Grayson's little owl diffuser. So this is a nightlight and a sound machine. So like three in one and a diffuser to pump in his sleepy eyes right now so we are good to go I'm about to get him dressed Adam's out there with the girl so don't worry um, I need to find him some pajamas and a diaper just got done doing a little bath time and uh, we're gonna read books and then go to bed do a little prayer and go to bed it's so nice having Bailey like somewhat old enough to help Oh, she can't Too reach. high up there. Too high. Hey. Okay. I was saying it's kind of nice having Bailey older. She can help with bath time now. Which, hey, whenever Shay wants to listen. I mean, why not? You gotta let her grow up a little bit. This is my favorite book up there. Which one? Um, that, that one right there, the bin. Okay. Thank you. I want the Frozen 2 book. The Frozen 2. That does not surprise me. Okay, we're gonna read Frozen 2, guys, all right? Here, Yay. I'm gonna carry, I'm gonna take it over there. Let's all go to Give Bailey's room. Book. You wanna read this one? Give me my book. This one? Give me my favorite book. Okay, what's your favorite book? Um, the Frozen 2 one. Oh, here it is, right here. Let's go. Go sit down on Bailey's bed.